What's going on YouTube? My name is Skilled87 and in today's video I want to talk about real quick the upcoming server transfers for Final Fantasy XIV or Realm Reborn. Now there is no exact date but there's some information I would like to get out there. Um, the you know educated guess for the coming date would be early this month or early next month. Okay. And the server transfers are coming with a little, you know, little twist. As a, another form of an apology for the server login issues for the first, you know, for the early access and the, and the first base week of the game, the first five days of the server transfer are free. Now, this is pretty cool because at one point they had locked down all the servers to newer players and newer players were forced to go to specific servers like Val4, Veil4, whatever. And with this free server transfer, these players who have friends on other servers will finally be able to transfer to those servers and play with their friends without paying a dime. Now there are some risks to taking this server transfer as stated. One, that you might possibly change your name. Um, you know, if you have a very cliche name or like a Sephiroth or a cloud name. Another reason, another thing that was oddly stated is that something might potentially happen to your guild. That's really awkward. I don't know why anything would happen to your guild, but it was stated that your guild could possibly, possibly be affected. I don't know how. I don't know why it makes no sense to me. I personally will not be transferring. Uh, my free company and myself, we plan the North American European server Excalibur. I believe it is the only legacy server for us. And I don't see a point in moving. I kind of like the crowd in Excalibur. Granted, there's a lot of... Uh, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of elitism on Excalibur. It, uh, when you're surrounded by people like that, you can also learn a thing or two from them. And plus, it was also stated that when you transfer, you can possibly have some login issues. And I feel like that's what's, I feel like what's going to happen. There's going to be so many people transferring that we're going to go through like possibly five days worth of, of uh, login issues. This is going to suck. Because when you, you know, you give people something free, they're going to jump on it, you know what I'm saying? Now, I feel that you shouldn't change servers just to change servers. So change servers if you have friends that are on different servers or they should come to your server. Uh, you know, when, when it comes down to how server transfers were introduced in XI, people transfer servers just to get away from the crowd, to start over, to start fresh. Or they were tired of all the link shells on this server, they want to start over. But with the way this game has a built-in duty finder, the auto matchmaking system, you know, there's really no point in transferring a server to get away from people. But if you would if you personally can't stand the people on your server, which I can't believe anyone really should get to that point, then yeah, take advantage of the five day uh, you know that are free. I'm not sure how much it would actually start to cost once the five days are up. I'm assuming $9.99. $14.99. I highly doubt it'd be any more expensive than that. Um, obviously, with the server transfer, Square Enix might introduce other paid-for features. I um, I truly believe Square Enix and the Japanese players were not, or you know, they don't want nothing like pay to win, nothing like that. But obviously, if I ran a game, if I was the director of a MMO, I would offer some forms of services such as name changing, such as um, being able to reroll your character. I feel that those are strictly cosmetic. There's nothing wrong with giving players the option to change their name for a, you know, a set fee. There's nothing wrong with charging players to change their entire appearance. You know, it, it is what it is. I mean, a lot of players would actually, wouldn't mind doing that. You know, after a year of playing the same exact character, you don't want to lose all your hard work, so you would be willing to pay 10 bucks to reroll your character. Shit like that is cool. That you know that that that's not nickel and diamond. That's not microtransactions. Microtransactions more along the lines of describing something that you buy all these you know items that you can technically earn in game, giving you some kind of unfair advantage or boost or one step ahead of the game. Strict cosmetics are not you know in that field of nickel and diamond people. But yeah, that's what I, all I really wanted to say. Are you gonna serve a transfer if you would like to play on my server? I play Excalibur. Home of the elite, home of the pricks, home of the assholes. But uh, yeah, that's all I want to say. When I get more news of Final Fantasy XIV and Rumble Born, I will uh, get you know to video making. Can't wait for that PvP. Can't wait for that Crystal Tower. And please, Square Enix, give us more ways. Give us more ways to get more Myth Tomes. I finished my weekly runs for uh, M Dapper's Keep yesterday. It's so annoying. 
Like I can literally run in dappers, keep my sleep. It is it's clockwork. People, you do a dirty, you do the duty finder, a dirty finder. You do a duty finder. You get in the fucking group. No one even says hi to each other. You just run it, and then when you kill the dragon, everyone's like GG, bye. It's it's so. It's that lack of community and teamwork because you're doing the same thing over and over. Please fix it.